Hi there, my name is Vass, and I welcome you to the fourth step of a five-step video tutorial package on how to create a live wallpaper using the Live Wallpaper Creator. It is strongly recommended that you first go over the step four, test your live wallpaper, and create screenshots, PDF document that is included in the Live Wallpaper Creator package. The document is much more detailed in this video. This video tutorial is meant to be more of a hands-on demonstration on how to make a live wallpaper. In the previous tutorial, we created a brand new live wallpaper. In this tutorial, we will be testing our live wallpaper and taking screenshots of it for the Android market. So, let's get right to it. First thing you want to do is start the Live Wallpaper Creator. So open that up, go to Live Wallpaper Creator, and we will want to make an AVD. To do that, go to Tools, and then, right here you see the Android Tools section, we want to launch the AVD Manager. So as soon as you click the button, the AVD manager comes up. So here, what you want to do is create a brand new AVD. Now, click on the new button, and it will ask you for some information to be filled out. Now, if you don't remember, you can go into the user guides, step 4, and open up the PDF, and just copy the the configuration straight out of it. So we'll name it WVJ854. WVJ854. The target is Android 2.1 API level 7. Give it a size of 32 megabytes. And we'll change the skin to WVJ854. Go ahead and create the AVD. We'll give you confirmation. Click OK. And there it is. So now, we can start it by clicking on the AVD and then clicking Start. It presents you with some starting options. We'll, we want to scale the display to real size. And in my case, um, I have a 19-inch monitor. We'll have to change it to 8.2 uh, to scale it. Now, if you ever want to wipe your... Um, if you want ever want to start a fresh uh, new instance of the AVD in case you've been testing a lot of applications and, you know, you've filled the size of the um, the size of the emulator and you want to clean it up you can click on this wipe user data checkbox and it will clean everything up but ours is uh, clean already so we'll just uncheck that and click launch now just wait for it to start it will take a couple of moments um, depending on how fast your computer is so while we wait for it to start, I'm going to take a brief break and come back to you as soon as it's loaded. Okay. Looks like it's loaded. This is what a fresh instance of the AVD uh, looks like. So, since we're installing live wallpapers, so we want a bit more visibility than this. We don't want all of these icons. So, to remove them, left click on them and wait for the garbage bin to appear and then just drag the icon over to the garbage bin. Do that for all the icons. Like so. And we'll get rid of the Google bar as well. Now that is a clear screen. Now we're ready to install our application for testing. Let's go back to the Live Open Creator. Right click on the application that we made, Leaves of Autumn and you can install either the full version or the free version we'll install the full version now just wait for it to install it will take um, maybe 15 to 20 seconds uh, if you don't have the AVD running when you try to install it nothing will happen and if you try to test it too soon then it might not appear so we'll just give it a couple moments see if it installed. To check, you can click on the menu button and go to wallpaper, go to live wallpapers, and there you go, Leaves of Autumn LWP, that's us. Click on that and it presents you with a preview. Right there, you can see you can see it in action, you can set the wallpaper from here or you can configure the settings. Go into the settings and just prepare it for use. Let's show street counter to show. And then 
the speed setting I believe it should be set to slow that's fine with us so now now would be a good time to prepare some screenshots um, to do that go back to the live wallpaper creator and go to the tools tab and click the second button out of the Android tool section it's called the Dalvik debug monitor open up utility very useful utility um, there's a lot of information but the one we're after is the screen capture utility uh, so this is the emulator that is currently loaded as you can see and the screen capture utility lo is located under device screen capture and the shortcut control s <coughs> so click on that and wait for it to load it might not load right away um, just give it a few moments and there's our first screenshot so we can save that good practice is to save it so good practice would be to save it in the archive folder and if you go to desktop WP creator archive drag down all the way leaves of autumn LWP and go into images call this settings click save and we have our first screenshot. Now we want to take some more screenshots and uh, click back and set the wallpaper and just wait for the leaves to fall to get a, a nice view of the live wallpaper. And click refresh and then we'll save the next screenshot called S1. And a good idea would be to show the user what happens once you start clicking on the icons. Perfect. Now that's done, we can close the screen capture utility and the Dalvik debug monitor, unless you want to take more screenshots, but that's enough for for us, you can go ahead and test the application some more. Uh, change the speeds if you wish. You can you can change the speeds by you know, menu, wallpaper, configure, and here you got more settings. We'll set ours to fast, so you can see what it looks like. And there you go. Now this all looks much much smoother on the actual device. It's a little bit. Um, no, not as smooth. It's a little choppy on the on the emulator, but on on the actual Android device, it is uh, uh, a much more polished live wallpaper. So now that we're done, pretty much concludes the this video tutorial. Uh, thank you for being with me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Step five: publish your live wallpaper to the Android market.